In this Canva tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crop and specifically how to crop images. So there is a cropping tool in Canva and we need to have an image in our document so we can find one over here in the elements tab or in your own uploads and click and drag it out into your document. So now we have an image out here. We can scale that image up and down with the little handles on the corners. And once we have that scaled to where we would like, we can begin to crop it. Now to crop this, we can either double click on the image or go up to edit photo and then the crop tab. Once we're inside the crop tab, you'll notice everything else gets kind of grayed out and we see our image. We can choose an aspect ratio, whether the crop is free form where you can just control the corners on your own, or you do like a one to one aspect ratio, which would be like a square or 16 by nine or any of these other aspect ratios in here. These are like kind of some of the standard aspect ratios that you could use. So on the free form crop, if we select that, we can move the corners individually. So it doesn't actually keep it into any specific aspect ratio. But if we click on one to one, it'll lock that aspect ratio in and allow you to scale that one to one uh, size up and down. So this is our cropping window right here. And we can move the image around underneath the crop. And then we can adjust the corners of the crop like this. So once we get that about to where we like it, we can simply click off. And now our photo has been cropped. Now there's a couple other features here, so let's go take a look really quick. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go back to Freeform and just expand this crop out so there's no more crop here. And then we'll double click into this photo. And you can see there's this Smart Crop option. So if we click on Smart Crop, Canva kind of uses AI in the background to decide, hey, this crop fits your photo the best. This is like the best composition. Now you can see that it was barely a crop at all but it kind of saw that maybe there's a little bit of room on either side and this crop might work better. That doesn't always work. I mean, I think 99% of the time you're gonna do your own crop here. Now there's another expand feature here, but that's only for Canva Pro users. But the expand feature here allows you to essentially expand the crop as if there was more image and if we click this magic expand, it expands that background out pretty well. Gives you a couple different choices here that you could utilize. It even puts in another person over here on the right or uh, a duplicate. Very interesting results here. And then you can also generate new results. So if you needed to expand the background a little bit so that it could fit a certain aspect ratio. Uh, so for instance, let's take a look at that. So if we cancel this and we go back in and we we double click and we go expand it. And let's say we wanted it to be uh, 16 by nine. Do you see how the 16 by nine aspect ratio, maybe I don't wanna scale this up. I want it to be exactly this size, but I just need some more background. That's where the magic expand would come into use. So you would be able to expand out that background a little bit to fit this to a specific aspect ratio, which is really nice even if you wanted to like offset the image and change the composition for an image like this where you just have a color background uh, in this case it did not work very well unless it's going to fix itself it didn't so we can click on this one there we go those results are a little bit better and maybe one of these works better than the other um, in my opinion i see a little bit of issue here on the edge so they're probably still working on this actually it says this technology is new and improving but um, you know, that gives a quick example of how you can expand the background with crop as well. But that's overall just double click on your image and you can crop it to size and then fit the image to that crop. And that is how you can crop images here in Canva.